so that there's nothing in there but earth. If you want to build for yourself, if you actually want to take the time to do the work yourself, natural building techniques are very, very simple to learn. You know, cob especially, we teach week-long cob workshops. And at the end of that, people with no previous building experience at all know what they need to know to build the cob parts of the house. So that's really quick. It's very, very non-technical. It's very simple. You don't need a lot of tools. This cottage is a cob cottage. Mike and Greg, who's inside, have been working hard on it for months and months. Until not that long ago, pretty much everybody on the planet knew how to build their own house. You didn't need to go to school for it. You, know, you didn't need to be a specialist. The techniques are simple enough that just growing up surrounded by them is all you need to know. The book his mentor wrote is called The Hand Sculpted House. For the last 18 years, I've been teaching and writing about natural building and teaching people how to build for themselves. Really, the majority are people who've never built anything, don't have building skills, and just have this strong compulsion to be personally involved with the creation of their own home. And they're looking for ways to do that that are affordable, that are technically feasible, that don't require a huge amount of training, that don't require lots and lots of investment in equipment. Here we can see some of the cob actually being mixed. Natural building techniques end up being a really good choice for people looking to create their own home inexpensively. And it's technically much simpler than conventional building practices. These are techniques that developed hundreds, thousands of years ago. And because so much of the cost of the building ends up being labor, if you can do that yourself or with your friends or throw a work party and get people to come and build for you in exchange for learning, that can be a way to get an extremely economical home. And this was Cobb that was just built uh, a couple of weeks ago and it's dry now. You would think that this type of building would be cheaper. As far as the materials go, it's much, much cheaper. But it does involve actually more labor and more time than conventional materials. The way our economy works currently is time and labor are expensive and materials are cheap. So conventional building systems have mainly evolved to go up as quickly as possible to save labor. So what you're doing is you're paying for pre-assembled building components, you know, things like sheetrock and plywood and two by fours that somebody in some factory somewhere has taken. And what you're doing when you choose to build with natural materials is taking all of those labor costs to your site. You're starting with the raw natural materials and doing all or most of the assembly yourself. This is the house that I live in. Speaking personally, what makes me happy is having a deep connection with everything in my life. This is, this is Cobb. Having built my home myself, having built it with 50 or 100 friends and being able to remember the involvement of all those people, growing my own food or buying food from friends. This is the old garden, which is pretty much abandoned at this point. I'll take you through the new one. As much as possible, everything in my life I have a personal connection to. And that makes it very, very rich and fulfilling. Here's a straw bale and here's our straw chopper. If you're working 40 to 60 hours a week and driving two or three hours a day, you don't have time to build your own house. More and more people are choosing to live differently, to live in a way that they have more control over their time. More and more people are being forced into positions where they have control over their time because they're unemployed. And I think in either of those cases, there's an opportunity that opens up for people to really take responsibility for their own housing. This is Cobb. This is Clay Waddle. That's Slip Straw. This is Straw Veil. All of this is technology. Building a mud house is a kind of technology but it's a very human friendly and a very earth friendly kind of technology. And it's one that involves people directly in the process of, of building their own home. I like technologies that people can do for themselves. Maybe that's a definition of appropriate technology. If you're not dependent on other people with more information than you, more equipment than you, some kind of industrial infrastructure that's completely out of your control to meet your own needs, to meet your basic human needs.
I enjoy building and I also really enjoy telling people just how simple it is. Actually getting your hands into it is a very, very empowering experience for most people because pretty much everybody, after they get an opportunity to play with them a little bit, says, I could do this. This is not very complicated. I can build my own house. That part is really exciting to me, watching people transform from a state of feeling hopeless and dependent to a state of feeling really excited and empowered and able to take care of their own needs.